Hey guys, this is Alex from MarketWise Asia. So in this video tutorial, I will share with you how to set up the Ichimoku Cloud, the Pivot Point and the Central Pivot Range on TradingView. So, okay, you can replicate exactly what you see, okay, on my chart whenever I show during my Facebook Live or the YouTube stream. So during my live stream, right, you usually will see my chart like this, okay, with the Pivot Point, with the cloud and the uh, central pivot range, this green dotted line, and also this uh, yearly pivot. So uh, there were some comments saying that one of the indicator doesn't work for the central pivot range. So that's why that's the reason why I'm redoing this video. And along the way, I think TradingView has you know, some make some changes to the uh, pivot points indicator as well. So let's get started. So let's go for the uh, naked chart first. I remove uh, everything over here to show you exactly how it is done over here. Okay, so this is the uh, naked chart just with the price candle over here. So to add in the Ichimoku Cloud, it is uh, very simple over here. Okay, so just uh, search for the Ichimoku Cloud. Okay, by default, okay, it is a default chart default indicator on trading view so there's uh, it is not a customized script okay just click on ichimoku cloud all right so by default it is like this with the three other lines over here so i don't this i don't need this line so just go to the settings icon over here okay remove the conversion line the baseline and the lagging span which is the chikao span so just click okay all right you get this Ichimoku Cloud without all the three lines over here, exactly like what you see on my chart. Okay, so next up, you can add in the central pivot range over here. Okay, just search for central. Okay, you should see this as the central pivot range daily, weekly, year, monthly, and yearly by this gentleman called the Satoshi Trades. So just click on that. All right, so you then click on the uh, settings, okay? You will see that, you know, this is the daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. So on my chart, I usually don't show the daily and the weekly. So you remove the daily, okay, weekly, and um, okay, so monthly and yearly you keep. So for me personally, right, I like to use green for the monthly central pivot range over here, okay? So you can change to a green color over here. Okay, for my yearly pivot, okay, I typically uh, use black. And just change to black over here. Okay, so it doesn't matter. You can choose any color that you want, but I've been using green for monthly and yearly black. So this is my general preference, but for you, can customize any color you want okay so uh you just okay and the inputs right sorry and the inputs right okay uh by default it is seven over here okay daily because we don't use the daily so remove the daily okay you can put you know uh 12 12 months means one year or 24 up to you so just for the um example illustration purpose i just put 12 right for the yearly central pivot range you can just put maybe just put 12 also by default Okay, so you can see that the central pivot range for the monthly one is green, okay, green color and the yearly pivot, it is there in the black color range over here, black color line over here, okay. And then uh, you can also add in the uh, pivot point, pivot point, okay, so by default, it is also a trading view uh, indicator. You just search for pivot point high uh, pivot point standard over here this is the standard pivot point indicator okay, i repeat pivot point standard indicator over here okay just click so at first glance well, once you inserted this pivot point you will see a lot of lines over here i don't know why trading view does that it is you know too intimidating and very messy so once again you head to the uh pivot all right click on the settings uh no change traditional auto Usually, okay, I put just two number of pivots back. It's just two over here. All right. Then 
I don't show the prices or it's too messy already. So I don't show the prices. I just show the label, which means that you show you the R1, R2, S1, S2, and the pivot point, which is the letter P. So this is what I usually do. Okay. And then uh, I will also remove the S4, S5, R4, R5, because uh, typically, you know, um, very rarely price will hit S4 and S5. You're just wasting uh, your, your real estate space on the chart and make it more messy. Okay, so I don't I don't put the S4, S5, R4, R5. Okay, so for the thickness, okay, I think uh thickness wise you can just change to two. Okay, else it's, it might be too thin. Uh, for for me personally, so I put two, but you can change it to by default is one or put even thicker like three. That is fine. So just put two. Okay, so you can see that the pivot point indicator is over here. So you can see that you know for this S and P five hundred price has hit the R1 level over here. Okay, so the pivot point is there. So personally, I also add in the Camarilla pivot. Okay, Camarilla pivot. So this is more for the uh, minor support or the uh, or resistance level. Okay, so for, for those who don't know what's Camarilla pivot, okay, it doesn't matter. It's just what I use as a minor support and resistance level. Okay, so I won't go through that. All right, so but I will add in to show you how it is done. All right, so once again, you add in the same add in the pivot point indicator, all right? Pivot point uh, standard, all right? So you just go back to the settings over here. So instead of traditional, right, you change to Camarilla, Camarilla pivot over here, and then the numbers of pivot back still uh, two, okay? And then the label and show prices, you just uh, remove it, okay? Align with, uh, keep it the same as the pivot point, so keep it, S2, all right, so remove the P, S1, S2, R1, R2, okay, and S5, R5. So we keep the uh, level three, support and resistance level, okay. So for the green, for the uh, level three level, I like to put a uh, red color. Okay, and for the level four resistance or support level, I like to put a uh, green color. Okay, and then you just click. Okay, all right, can see that you no, know, this is the Camarilla people over here, the red. Okay, and then the green is at over here. Okay, over here. All right, can see that this, uh, I think it is over here, the green color is over here. So, tada, so you have the same layout as my chart over here with the Ichimoku cloud, okay, the monthly central pivot range with the yearly uh, central pivot range plus the pivot point with plus the Camarilla pivot as acting as the uh, minor uh, support and resistance level. Okay, just to take note, all right, if you are using a free trading view account, I think you can only add up to four, uh, add up to three indicator. So right as of now, I have already four indicator. Okay, so you can't add, you can only add three. So maybe you can just remove the uh, Camarilla pivot, add, add, uh, just put the normal pivot points you do. Okay, so there you go. And once you have done that, right, okay, just you know, head over, over here to the indicator template at the top of the button over here and just save it as a template. Name it whatever it is, okay? So next time, you know, you see all the buttons over here, the round buttons over here. And then next time when you click click on the button, okay, it will show the exact same layout as I'm showing you in this video. So I uh, hope this uh, video helps, okay? And thanks so much for watching.